Yes, sir. We are back, y'all. We are back with another freaking video. video. Hey, man, before we get a jumping, man, get yourself some Lucky Jack Triple Black Fortified Coffee so Nitro good. Express, man. Keep that black yes. coffee in life. We don't do no energy drinks over here. We do all coffee. Let's go. So up uh, next, we got Russell Peters Adventures in Saudi Arabia. This is Adventures? not- Adventures? you said Avengers. I'm like, Avengers in Saudi Arabia? <laughs> Adv <laughs> Avengers in Saudi Arabia. This is not happening. Uncensored. This is probably, this is one of our longer reactions. So just, just react with us. We probably won't pause it as much because it's longer. So, um. Let go. Let go. I made fun of them because women weren't allowed to drive in Saudi Arabia. And I was going in on it. I'm like, well, maybe you should let the women drive because you guys drive like shit, you know, and that, <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, this is payback. I'm going to lose my head and they're going to blame fucking ISIS or some shit, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, on this not happening, they always have like okay. little imagery of stuff before you do, they do the actual comedy. Oh. So y'all got oh we got blood and everything y'all. Whoa oh. ah oh. What's Sashmo at? Eh. Oh Ew. boy, you super, oh you super dead. Okay. You super dead. That's oh boy, you alive? Blood too. Ah. <gasps> there comes the egg. Eh. Yucky. Yeah. Super stoked to get this guy. Everybody. Kind of horror. One of the biggest comments in the world, to be honest. Please give it up for Mr. Russell Peters, everybody. I've been doing stand-up for 27 years. So, and when you're doing it this long, and and you start to progress, uh, things in your life change. Like my situation changed from being this broke brown kid in Canada to a doing okay kid in LA now, right? <laughs> or or old ass man. But whatever. Um, <laughs> and I get to go around the world. That's the beauty of what I do for a living. Is I get to go around the world. Whew. And I go to places that uh, right. the American media tells you not to go to. <laughs> Because they want you to be scared and keep your mustache like that. So recently, I was in the Middle East. I can't say which country because I signed an NDA. But um, but I was there. I did a show in uh, in this place in the Middle East. Well, I could say this. I was in the Saudi Arabia, and um, and it was very different. I'd never been to Saudi Arabia before because I was always scared to go to Saudi Arabia. Everybody was like, Saudi Arabia? I'm like, fuck you. And, <laughs> and that's based on watching the news in America. And right. I'm like, well, they're not go to Saudi Arabia or they'll tie you to two different camels and they'll make them run away. You know what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> what we hear about Saudi Arabia is that torture and beheading yeah, might kill so you true. and watch what you say. And yep. that's all true. <laughs> but, right. But you don't see it. In the Middle East, it's very quiet. It's like, don't, don't tell anyone what we do. <laughs> so anyway, I do the show there. Uh, great, had a great time. Uh, there's 10,000 princes in Saudi Arabia. So there's a lot of fucking royalty just running around Saudi Arabia. So I do a show. Uh, I'm tripped out because when I get on stage, uh, the audience is segregated. Not, not like this, not like hipsters on one side. And, you know, like, <laughs> but it's like, it's women on one side and men on the other. Huh. And because they're not allowed to be together. And I was like, why can't the women be together with the men? And <laughs> this is the honest answer I got. Wow. I thought it was fucking hilarious. I go, hey, why can't the women and the men be together? Because they'll go crazy, they want to fuck everybody. It's <laughs> 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 like, not the men that are going to go crazy. Just so you're aware of this, these women are lunatics, apparently. <laughs> they're just going to fuck everybody, right? <laughs> I go, all right, uh, good plan, right? And uh, so we do the show, and then one of the other princes, um, who was a little more higher up, I guess, in the prince hierarchy, um, hears about the show and uh, tells the other prince, I guess, who's his cousin, and he goes, I want a private show with Russell. And then he comes to me at this, they have this little after party for me. And uh, you would think, like, you're like, all right, you know, because it's Saudi Arabia, you're going to be like, there's mad bitches, they got the doors closed, <laughs> fucking two chicks in the whole room, and they're like sisters of somebody in there, right? And you're like, ah, oh, come on, guy. And then there's guys, dan guys are dancing with guys. It's not, 
it, it's weird. It's not like, but it, it's not like here, you know, because over here in, in America, we've lost the idea of what dancing is, you know. White people have won the dancing war. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. Like when, when you go to like a, an EDM thing, everybody's just jumping up and down, <laughs> and nobody's <laughs> dancing anymore. That means <laughs> white people won. <laughs> <laughs> and it's either that, or you're just fucking ass fucking everybody all night. You know what I mean? <laughs> So when I say the guys are dancing on each other, they're not like, hey, bro, do it. You know, like, just, I'm not exaggerating. There was a dude doing a dance. It looked like a camel. That's what, that's what his, da his dance was this. <laughs> I was like, is that how you pick up chicks over here? Like, One hump or two, you know, and then... <laughs> So anyway, the other prince calls this prince, and he's like, private show tomorrow. And, uh, and then my, my brother, wow. who's my manager, is like, all right, well, let me talk to him. Let me sort the details out. And I go, uh, I go, I'm, I go I'm scared about this because we're already here, and, you know, we already don't know enough about these people. But, and, he, and then he comes over, and he talks to him, and he's like, oh, shit, that's a lot of money. And uh, <laughs> so I go, uh, yeah, we'll do that show. Right? <laughs> right. And then uh, my brother goes, okay, well, we're going to need lights. We're going to need the cameraman. We're going to need the DJs. We're going to need the opening act. And he's like, no, just Russell. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck, all right. <laughs> and he goes, uh, has to be a private event. And I go, all right. Uh, well, can you give me any information? No information. Right. Like, well, how many people? He goes, it's a very small party for the Brins. And I'm like, okay. And I'm thinking small, all right? Private thing, maybe 50 to 100 people, right? I've done worse. 27 years of stand-up, I've done shows where there's two people in the audience. I literally put the mic down and just sat with them. I was like, all right. right. <laughs> it's fucking stupid for me to try and, uh, what do you do? You know, so, <laughs> so, so I go, how, how many people? And they go, uh, maybe 10 to 12. I'm like, oh, come on guy right this is ridiculous and then my brother goes duh, 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 and I go that's a lot of money yeah you're right let's, <laughs> let's do it so I go to the palace the next day right and uh, I get there and they put us in like a waiting room and then uh, they, this guy comes in and he goes uh, Mr. Beatles please and I and my brother and I because you know obviously he's got the same last name he uh, we both get up and he goes no no you stay just him. Oh, and, oh that sucks. And I'm thinking, great, I'm going to get beheaded or some shit, right? Because <laughs> well, I talked mad shit the night before, right? I, I made fun of them for his women weren't allowed to drive in Saudi. It's illegal for women to drive in Saudi Arabia. And I was going wow. in on it. I'm like, well, maybe you should let the women drive because you guys drive like shit, you know? And that, <laughs> so I was like, oh, my God, this is payback. I'm going to lose my head and they're going to blame fucking ISIS or some shit, right? So, oh. so I go into this room and uh, it's a little ass room with a 110 inch TV. And I walk in, and I figure, because the TV, say this is the TV behind me, I walk in the room, and I'm like, all right, I guess I'll just stand in front of this TV and uh, do my little jokes for these 11 people that are here. And uh, I walk in, and then the prince is sitting in the middle of the room, and he gets up, and he goes, hey, thanks for coming. He doesn't sound like how you're thinking. He's not like, please, uh, please, entertain my friends. You know, he's like, hey, thanks for coming. And I'm like, what the fuck's happening right now? <laughs> I mean, Ashton Kusher's gonna come out. Ha ha! You've been bugged. Yeah. And then, so he goes. Uh, he, he goes. Uh, sit down, Russell. Please sit down. So I sit down and I just start making fun of everybody in the room. <laughs> Literally, like I'm like you, bam, you, bam. And then and then the prince is like feeding me lines. That guy owns camels, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like you, fucking camel guy. And, Hmm. How's it going? And then, <laughs> it's a greeting or the dance, right? So, you know, the the prince. Uh, I, I'm making fun of my. I, I start. I start making fun of the prince. I, I got a little. Uh -oh. I got a little fucking carried away. Um, uh -oh. And I knew when I was getting carried away because I already went. Right. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> 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 the problem, but uh, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> then the prince says to me, "There's a guy sitting beside me," and he goes, uh, "Hey, Russell." That guy has one of the only brown diamonds in the world. And I go, what the fuck is a brown diamond? He goes, show him, show him. The guy takes off his ring, and he's got this little tiny-ass brown diamond on a ring, right? And I go, oh, cool. And I go to put it on my hand, and it wouldn't go past my pinky nail. And I'm like, how small are your hands? <laughs> <laughs> and I look at the prince, and I go, this guy's got childlike hands. And the prince starts laughing, and then... 
uh, as a as a joke, I grabbed the guy's wrist, right? Uh oh. And uh, I have friends that are magicians, and they taught me how to take a watch off somebody's wrist. Uh oh. So I, I grab his wrist and I unlock his watch and I pull it off, and I go, "How small are your wrists?" And then I go, "Oh wow, nice watch." I go, "What is that, uh, Richard Mila?" He goes, "No, it's Hublot." And I go, "Oh, nice." I go, "Here." He goes, "Huh, keep it." And I'm like, oh damn. Okay, buddy. So I put, I put right. the watch on and. Uh, I'm doing, I start talking again, and about 10 minutes later, I go, hey, man, here's your watch. He goes, no, no, I give to you. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, a huge blow. Woo. <laughs> Big time, time so I piece. I start getting comfortable, right? Because now I feel like I've done my job. Everybody's laughed in this room. And then uh, the prince goes, come on, let's eat. And I go, all right, let's eat. So we go to this other room to eat. Mm -mm. And I'm sitting there. And uh, I go, hey, man, where's the guy that gave me the watch? He goes, oh, he left. And I go, but I've got his watch. And he goes, he gave it to you. And I go, all right. And he goes, that's how it is in Saudi Arabia. If you, comp if you like something we have and you say, I like that, we have to give it to you. Oh. And I go, wow. I take this palace. Okay. This is the best palace I've ever been in. <laughs> right. I just say it. Work. Doesn't work on real estate, apparently. <laughs> I should have complimented the Rolls Royce they sent to pick me up in, though. God damn it, I fucked that one up, right? So, so I start, you know, I, the prince is really cool, so I start talking to him. I'm like, yo, did you know Osama bin Laden? Because uh -oh. he was from Saudi Arabia. And I go, hey, did you know Osama bin Laden? He goes, well, I didn't know him, but I know his family. I go, really? He goes, yeah, I mean, he is much older than I am. I go, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. He goes, yeah, but his family is a very prominent family here in Saudi Arabia. They're, uh, they're the, they built Saudi Arabia. They were the construction company that built it. He goes, he went crazy. He went that way, and uh, the family was this way, and he was mad at Saudi Arabia, and he was mad at his family, so he went a little fucking cuckoo. And then I was like, that's amazing, because he's very, if you think about the breakdown of Osama bin Laden, he's very similar to Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's the spoiled brat's billionaire son of a developer <laughs> who's fucking mad at everybody. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> if you say so. So I go, I go. He goes, yeah. His family's very nice, actually. And I go, really? He goes, do you want to meet his brother? And right. I'm like. Fuck yeah, I do! Right. I was like, no. I want to meet his really? brother. Why? So, oh, you want to meet, um... Why not? Or something like that? So he goes, yeah. okay, he says to some guy, blah, 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 right? And I'm like, oh, I don't know what he's saying, but okay, sure, right? we and only then, know uh, what the news reports. Sure. So the next I don't day, believe half I get this of call sure. at my hotel, and they send the car. The, the prince sends a car for me. And he, I go, well, what's this for? He goes, oh, you said you wanted to go see Saudi Arabia, so he sent a car so you can go around and see everything. And he walks out with me, and he's on his phone. He's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And he goes, hey, Russell, uh, do you uh, still want to meet Osama's brother? Huh. And I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> and he goes, okay, one sec. Here. And I go, what's this? And uh, I won't say the guy's first name, because, you know, that'll give it away. But, uh, <laughs> but it says blank bin Laden on the phone, right? <laughs> and I'm like... I go, what's this? He goes, it's Osama's brother. And I go, holy shit. Wow. So I go, uh, hello? And he goes, uh, and this is exactly, you, here's what you're expecting, right? Osama bin Laden's brother to go on the phone, like, Russell, what are you doing, infidel, right? So <laughs> I go, hello? And this is what I hear on the other end. Hey, Russell. I go, hey, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> he goes, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm blah, 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 Bin Laden. I go, yeah, and, uh, I see that on the phone. He goes, That's the guy to get in the uh, first of all, let me tell you, a big I'm fan good. of your stuff. And I'm like, what the, what the good fuck is going on over here? <laughs> and he's like, uh, um, uh, how long are you in town for? I go, I'm leaving today. He goes, yeah, I'm flying back tonight. Oh, man, I'm going to miss you. Uh, hey, stay in touch with me. Take my number. And I'm like... <laughs> What? Yeah, take my number. And I go, all right. And I go, just so you know, uh, your name's going in as Dave Smith on my phone. Right. Thank you guys, it was great. That is, I mean, 
That's that is a, like so cool though. That is, you know, and I believe now you said it right. You said it right. Man, people and the media have you saying thinking it's all messed up over here and it ain't even really like that. Yeah, I don't even believe half of what they report. I, I just don't. Sorry. But think about it. When other countries it was um like some some African um cultures and Africa will look over and look at TV and they see Kim Kardashian, they think that's how America is. Well, they think everybody, everything's like that when it's, it's absolute the opposite. You know, yeah. But um, yeah, man, I, that was funny. Yeah, I, it was funny. I, I, I like him. I, I like to watch more of his, his stand up. I don't know who this guy is. Russell Russell Peters. He's he's got he's you could tell that confidence is so strong when he talks. Yeah. But it was good, and he just led you up and let you hear the story, and then he he um hit you with the punchline on the end. But that's cool. I thought it was gonna be the guy who was actually who gave him the watch. You know the way he was talking. I was thinking it was gonna be like he'd already met him. But. He gave him a Hublot. You you talking about bands, bands. For, for that yeah. but um anyway man that was cool yeah. man like always man we had russell peters man so like always like comment and subscribe, subscribe. turn on your post notifications Bing. every time we do something get it immediately every time you hit the smash that like button man it helps the channel man so boom let's yeah. do it man see you on the next one peace <laughs> you do it be married, the big old mansion on the lake of Lambo if I carry. She say I wanna be the only one, no baby mama drama, no could it, but it's out of peace.